Hey guys, today I want to talk about a issue that a lot of you are facing right now. I've got an email from someone from South Africa, I got an email from someone from Europe. Even in the US, a lot of people are asking me should I pay more than MSRP for Battle for Zendikar packs? Uh, booster boxes, fat packs, I don't know if you would pay MSRP for intro decks, I guess over that for intro decks. Here's my quick tip for you guys. Do not ever, for something like a fat pack, for something like a booster pack, for something like a booster box or a booster case, you should never pay over MSRP. And here's why. Uh, it's very, very simple to me. Uh, Wizards of the Coast can produce as much of this as possible over one year. Therefore, when you purchase something over MSRP, you are overpaying for it. Does it, do you have to wait a little bit of time? Yes, you do. But the practice, uh, so what I find very dangerous is if you live in a local town, which I, I did in Virginia, it's a very small place that supported one store and even that store wasn't supported uh, bankrupt multiple times. That store has dominance over certain certain um, sales, right? They can kind of set their own price. Now, that's less so when you have Targets and Walmarts everywhere, but still, the store can set its own F&M price. It can set its own price for uh, boxes. So at Walmart, a MSRP for a booster box is actually $140. And some Walmarts used to sell RTR actually. I know they sold RTR. I'm not sure if they are selling. Uh, leave a comment below if your Walmart sells booster boxes. I know they experimented with it at some time. I just don't know if they st are still selling the newer sets. RTR I saw booster boxes of. Now you shouldn't ever pay and I love, I am the biggest proponent of supporting your local store but it's not good practice when your local store, they already have okay margins is kind of has a something like a fat pack of Zendikar and they are I think fat packs of Zendikar are what most of you are concerned about and are asking about and they instead of paying $40 for it they want 50 or 55 or they are limiting you or they are canceling pre-orders and we'll get to pre-orders before a little later this week because I do you know I have a very unique perspective on pre-orders. I used to pre-order them all the time, but they kept getting canceled, so I stopped. And I'll go over my story of pre-orders with you a little later. So at, at the end of the day, just wait on it. I know it's tough, I know it is difficult, but remember, fat packs, holiday packs, whatever, they are coming to Walmart. Can you buy a fat pack from Walmart? Absolutely. Can you buy a fat pack from Target? Absolutely. Why would you pay more than MSRP? Now you might say, oh, I really want it now. I want to open it now. And that's perfectly fine. I get that. But if you are a Magic player on a budget and you're whoever your local game store is, and I'm not going to criticize specific local stores around Houston, but if they are saying, oh, limited one per person, but also we're going to charge you $45, $50 for them just because it's a limited supply. I know in Europe, in South Africa, this is happening because there is a shortage of these fat packs with the four art lands because guess what? Four art lands are still highly liked. I know people think it's not valuable, but if they're not valuable, why is there a fat pack shortage and why do people only care about fat packs and not? Anyway, that's a totally different conversation to have with you guys. At the end of the day, like, your local store should be there for the players. They should be. They should not be there to fleece the players, to you know, to make it so the players are not having a good time. I get it, you need to keep the lights on, you need to make a profit, you need to make a margin, but sometimes when you get too greedy, that's actually not good for your store. So that's what I'll say to the store owners who are trying to, who are canceling pre-orders, who are charging more than MSRP for a fat pack. I don't agree with that practice. I feel like at the end of the day, you look out for your customers, you look out for the regulars, you look after, out for people who pre-order stuff because that's your, that's a higher level of customer base than I, you know, I think that's a very loyal type of customer who pre-order stuff. 
And the most dangerous part, and here's the dangerous part, is preference. So when I mean preference, I mean when your store is willing to sell those fat packs to someone else and sell them in larger quantities than they are to regular customers. I've always said this, and that's why my fat packs always come late. If you have people who are interested in fat packs, I don't need the first shipment. I don't need the second shipment. They'll still be for Artland. Send it to me whenever you can reorder or, and that's what, so all out of those fat packs I'm receiving and my friends are receiving, I've told them, given this situation, hey, you know, I like the price, I like all that. I'm gonna get a few of them, because I need a few of them, but if you have other customers who are interested in fat packs, please give them the first round of them. I'll wait, because it doesn't make a difference, because they're just gonna be in storage anyway, so there's no difference. And they appreciate that, and that's what, that's what they appreciate, and there's a very, if you are a good customer and you support your store, your store is gonna support you. If not, you probably should leave that store. So the do not pay over MSRP for fat packs, booster boxes, whatever it is, born from Battle for Zendikar, first of all, isn't that good. It's not that powerful of a set outside of Expeditions uh, for you to pay more than MSRP. It's not Modern Masters 1, which I, I have concern of why people are playing over MSRP for that one as well. Anyway, that's some advice that I know a lot of you like, and uh, yeah, that's it. Bye, guys.